just looking at this, it feels so Black Ops 1. I absolutely love this, man. I'm not even gonna pull down. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. And before I should go ahead and name this video the new insane no recoil Galil with a clip red arrows at three o'clock in the morning gone sexual. I swear I love and hate YouTube sometimes. These poor guys, man, we are just completely steamrolling them. Oh, no. No, hey, sorry, Rage, or whatever you want to call yourself. You know how cringe that is? If that's not actually you. Yo, that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it's, it's for a YouTube video, my guy. It's not him. Is my mic not working? It, it is me. It is for a YouTube video. Oh my god, no, what? All right, yo guys, what's going on? It's Sore Rage, and welcome back to some Black Ops Cold War for Season 6. So I just finished recording my DM Ultra video on the new lever action shotgun, so if you guys missed that video, go ahead and check that one out. But next up here, we got ourselves a certified Black Ops classic, the Galil, or at least the way that they call it in this game, the Grav, which if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what they called it in Black Ops 4, uh, maybe Black Ops 3 as well, I, I don't remember. It's not very often I'm like actually excited for new red guns to come to the game, obviously because I'm a sniper, but I feel like adding in the Galil just makes perfect sense for a black ops game it's just one of those staples to the game kind of like nuketown for example so real quick though for all of the attachments that i've been running this is the setup that i've been using in hardcore just to try and fly through ranking this thing up as quickly as i possibly could really nothing too crazy about it i've got the microflex led side on i've been running the suppressor just for that uh, classic black ops one feel here on the magazine i've been using the uh, black ops mini clamp which is basically a dual mag and i could try out this grav 40 actually nope never mind that takes away uh 12 percent on the adsp we don't want that i feel like for hardcore though literally Really any one of these mags would be perfectly fine uh actually at some point in time at some point in time in the video i want to go ahead and try this in core and i want to slap on this rk730 round conversion because it does give a six percent damage increase we'll see how much of a difference it actually makes later obviously in hardcore it doesn't really make a difference go ahead switch out the mag to the 40 round speed mag here i've got the airborne pistol grip on and then lastly here on the stock obviously we've got the raider stock going now again for the camos oh brother again same old same old with everything with eliminations headshots bloodthirsties uh we need 11 more long shots that's not too bad all the detected is already done and the f oh my god kill nine more enemies taking cover from me and all of the double kills are already done so we don't have a lot left to do on this but i did this intentionally right because i hate that challenge look i know this is going to be a very unpopular opinion but i'm like genuinely sad this is the last season of black ops cold war i'm really upset because i've actually enjoyed this game all year through and through even though i haven't you know like completely slobbed it out like a whole lot of other people i still really do enjoy this game a lot I know, very unpopular opinion. It just makes me a little bit sad that it is the last season for it, and this game is pretty much wrapping up, but uh, thankfully, at the same time, though, at least I'm praying that we don't have challenges like this in Vanguard, but this should be the last time that we have to deal with any sort of annoying challenge like this stuff, shooting enemies, taking cover from you. I don't really have a whole lot of gripes with this game, but uh, that is definitely one of them. I do want to check out this new map, Deprogram, which is supposed to be some, like, really trippy, inside Adler's Mine kind of map, and I don't know, it seems really cool, though. Oh, and also, before I forget, I want to go ahead and show you guys this. They finally added Black Ops 1 14th Prestige. Is, is it going to load in time? It's probably not going to load in time now, is it? There it is. That beautiful Prestige emblem. Like, you cannot change my mind. That is the best Prestige emblem we've ever had in Call of Duty. And it really upsets me that it has taken all this time. I only get a month to rock it. That is obviously once I get Prestige Master for this season. But I'm, I'm so upset, dude, because I don't know what it was. I think it was uh, Season 3. Season 2 going into season three was when we were at the point of uh, reaching over 10th prestige and 12th prestige wherever they had like locked it off at yeah so it was in season three that i was expecting them to add more custom prestige icons and they never did it you've only been able to pick one through 12 throughout the entire course of this life cycle and it really upset me because dude when it came to getting prestige master in all of the old black ops games obviously with you know black ops 3 and black ops 4 really the only incentive for me to really go to prestige master was to just have that emblem because in my opinion it's just the best prestige master emblem Literally the best prestige emblem we've ever had in Call of Duty. It's so clean. I love it so much. And that was my main incentive to get to Prestige Master every single season for as uh, dorky as it might sound. Hold on, there's red doors on this map. Oh, this is trippy. What is this? Hold on a minute. Okay, well, that didn't work. 
that a long shot? That is a long shot. Perfect. Is that another one? I don't know. But yeah, so again, though, I don't know if I've uh, expressed my frustration with that often enough, but uh, I mean, I, at least we finally got it for the last month of this game, which is crazy to think about that Vanguard is literally coming out in less than a month. I think that should count as one taking cover because he was behind the rock. Does that count as behind cover? I hope so. That one probably should. Maybe. Fortunately, though, none of those were long shots. Okay, that should definitely be behind cover. I hope, dude. Ah, so that's how you get to the... He's really camping. You gotta be joking me, dude. I really do think this is such an interesting map, though, because it's just, like, a bunch of stuff from the campaign and other multiplayer maps just kind of mashed into one. Got this whole other area. This dude is still sitting up here. You have gotta be joking me. He's sitting in here? He is. You're so garbage. Literally camping on a new map, dog. Come on, what is wrong with you? The map is actually pretty cool, though. It's just uh, people camping in that one whiteout lab room. Like, why? Why are you like this? It's also 8 o'clock in the morning right now. You guys probably aren't able to tell, but the, the sun has risen. Uh, it's, it's just a cloudy day outside right now. I've been up for like seven, eight hours already, and I still have to go to class here soon. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I looked up at the radar at literally the worst possible time. There we go. I need you guys to keep running on this head glitch for me, please. I go to reload and he's there. That That's literally COD timing in a nutshell. And I didn't even have any extra ammo. All right, uh, started off this game 16 and 0. Ooh, stay right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just stay, stay right there for one second. Thank you. I feel like that should definitely count if he was, you know, still really close to the wall right there. At least I hope so. I don't know, though. Again, I remember that uh, wall bangs were always, like, super weird in terms of uh, whether they were actually behind cover or not. Like, they had to be, like, super close against the wall or cover for it to even count in the first place, and... I don't know, dude. Again, words cannot describe how ready I am to just be done with this challenge forever. Like, I kind of see Treyarch's logic behind it, but at the same time, it's just like, it, it's still, it still really just comes down to the way that the enemies are playing the game as compared to how, you know, you're playing the game with the weapon that you're trying to get the gold camo on or whatever. Three, two, Actually, that should be it right there, yeah? Long shots? Long shots are done. Okay, thank you. Oh, why is this always so annoying? It, it really shouldn't be this annoying, but it is. Now I just gotta get kills on enemies taking cover from me, so if anybody wants to... Okay, the one time I'm not paying attention. When I was initially doing the grind, this is the view I looked at for hours among hours on end, waiting for somebody to run up into the windowsill. There's another one, maybe, hopefully. Can that please be it? Oh, that was it. Oh, thank you so much. All right, fantastic. I feel like this is a moment like that. That might have just been the very last time I would ever need to do that. All right, there it is. Gold, diamond, and DM Ultra. So before I slap DM Ultra on this and uh, take it into a private match and inspect it, I want to run around with gold just for a minute real quick. I also went ahead and threw on the Task Force Barrel as well as the 30-round uh, conversion magazine, which apparently increases your damage by 6%. So I want to try this real quick. Just looking at this, it feels so Black Ops 1. I absolutely love this, man. Hold on a second. I just want to catch this in the light, dude. Oh my goodness. It's so Black Ops 1. I love this. I know I've said this a million times, but man, the original Black Ops is my favorite Black Ops in the entire series. And I don't know. It just feels so right. I have no ammo. Okay, that's a problem. Oh yeah, that's right. I just realized with the conversion kit, you actually lose a magazine. So I should probably have on Scavenger. Oh, it's fine. The game's over anyway. So, hey, Star Rage, or whatever you want to call yourself, you know how cringe that is? If that's not actually you. Yo, that's, uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's 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 for a YouTube video, my guy. It's not him. Is my mic not working? It, it is me. It is for a YouTube video. Oh my god, no, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of cringe, so I know. Oh my god, yeah, it, it, it is me, I know, kind of cringe, I know. See, this is another thing, like, I genuinely feel bad running around red gunning sometimes just because people know me to run around and snipe all the time, which is what I would much rather be doing anyway. Oh my god, that's so funny, though. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of cringe, especially if it's not you. <laughs> oh, man. Trust me, I completely understand. It is very cringe. I, I do apologize. Oh, America, yo, vote this, please. So this map here is another map that's being uh, taken out of the campaign. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you haven't played the Cold War campaign, 
Play it. I really can't believe that people will just load up Call of Duty and not play the campaign. Like, you are missing out on, seriously, like, the best part of the game. Basically, the premise of this map is, uh, I mean, it's not really spoiling anything in the campaign, but you infiltrate a Soviet facility where inside it's some training course uh, modeled to look like America if there ever were to be a Soviet invasion of America. So, from the looks of it, though, it's super bright, super vibrant. I, I actually quite like this. And I died. Fuck you. Sorry, dog. I do respect the name, though. These guys are just rolling over us right now. I, I can't do anything. It's strafe runs, harps, air patrols. Oh my goodness. This thing does some really good damage. The only downside to it is just not having ammo for it. I just realized, yo, this thing jumps a lot. Oh my God. I probably shouldn't be running a suppressor. Um, I decided to go ahead and take off the damage barrel and just put on a SOCOM eliminator with uh, this basic foregrip on it. It's also a big part of the reason as to why, like every time I've gotten a red gun gold or like gone through attachments, I've had people ask me why I don't use these tactics task force barrels and i don't know honestly i i feel like a small six percent damage increase just doesn't really do a whole lot when you're using red guns i just feel like when it comes to red guns it's not really going to make that much of a difference just because you know obviously it's an automatic weapon uh the fire rate on it's pretty high to where Having to follow up with like the one extra bullet isn't gonna take you a whole lot of time anyway. So I don't know though. For me personally though, I'd rather just focus on recoil control and accuracy. So last time I was jumping all the way up and now, yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. And before I should go ahead and name this video, the new insane no recoil Galil with a clip, red arrows at three o'clock in the morning, gone sexual. I swear I love and hate YouTube sometimes. I'm not even gonna pull down. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Case in point, again, this is why I just don't bother with the Tiger Team barrels. This dude's got a gunship. He's already level 50. This guy, Terms, he is, uh, he, he's pretty crazy at the video game. All right, my man, I, I respect it. You know, I'm also noticing this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's just with the Galil, but it's like every single time I go to reload, I feel like my frames are dropping. Do you guys notice that? I have no clue what's causing it or anything like that because everything else is perfectly fine, but this, it's like right here, right when you're putting the magazine in, is when it starts to lag. I, I, I don't understand, honestly. Now, I did throw back this little uh, conversion magazine back on again, and I know it's not just with this magazine. Like, this is a problem with uh, every magazine I've thrown on. I think it's just a gun problem, honestly. Ugh, 11 kill streak and I got stuck, bruh. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think this one might be the move. I mean, really across the board, the Galil is great, but I think that having the foregrip with the SOCOM Eliminator, these uh, conversion mags, I think this is definitely the move because it's got a great TTK. The only downside is the little delay in the reload. These poor guys, man, we are just completely steamrolling them. Oh, no. I, I knew I was standing too. Well, game's over anyway, but still, not bad. So anyways, though, here's another look at the Golden Galil. And now we have Diamond, which I actually really like the way that the Diamond just covers pretty much everything. That looks really clean. I like that. And lastly, of course, here we have DM Ultra. You know, honestly, it's kind of a weird feeling that, like, this might be the last uh, DM Ultra video that I make. Uh, unless there's, like, you know, some other stuff that comes to the game that I uh, want to make these videos on. But as far as, you know, like, new seasonal content updates goes... I, I don't know, man. I'm not gonna lie, though. I still am pretty sad that uh, Black Ops Cold War is coming to an end here very, very soon. I don't know. I like this game a lot. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a future video. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video as it is now just about 9.15 in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna go make some breakfast before I go to school. But anyways, though, guys, with that all being said, I really hope you all did enjoy the video. Feel free to go ahead and join into my Discord. It's linked down in the description below. So you guys never miss things when I post new videos here to YouTube, as well as when I go live on Twitch. Again, though, definitely go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. What are you guys thinking about the season? six content so far and uh yeah once again guys that's pretty much all i got i really hope you all enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys did subscribe if you're new it's been soul rage and i'll talk to you guys later take care everybody